Take a look at what happened. So, in the Barbie movie, I guess the director or writer or something actually decided to poke fun and just slap the freaking fan base of Zy um, Zack Snyder. Yeah, so the guys who were really rooting for Superman Man of Steel 2 to come out and for it to still be alive, but their dreams just shattered and crashed. You know, they have to move on with their lives, but. You decide to, to make fun of the people who actually just lost everything? I mean, they got the Flash. They're going to get the last movie ever, which is Aquaman 2. And here you are just basically, they're just going to the point of where they're getting to the execution table. Pretty soon they're moving to the point of where it's like, it's no more. They're counting down to where it is no more. And here you are making a freaking joke at them. Oh, the hot, toxic fan base. But even so, all I have to say is, your movie's Barbie. Unless the guys really seriously want to watch it, the dudes of the fan base most likely won't even know until the freaking thing that you just showed. But even then, it's like, well, you didn't give us the comment. <laughs> And chances are the ones that actually are really hardcore and no matter what they'll find something and they'll freaking talk about it, well, that will happen. And I guess that will be the uproar. And she's like, I'm not prepared for it. I don't think I need to be prepared for it. And it's like, uh, <laughs> uh, the best of the part is like, this is the same fan base that was able to get Snack Snyder's freaking... Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But still, they got the uncut, director's cut Justice League up in this. And you're telling me that you see no qualms with you making a messed up, a little joke at their expense. And you're telling me that you're cool with it and you want a free pass because you got the person who will not actually play, um... Harley Quinn anymore, no, she, she gone too, remember, she gone, I think she gone, she could get recasted, or she could stay, I don't know, all I'm telling you is that for right now, until proven wrong, she gone, so even if you had someone that was in the Zack Snyderverse, good for you, but I don't think you're going to make it out with, like, you know, sand between your toes because your shoes are missing <laughs> yeah it's like i don't think the shoes will still be there i don't think you're gonna make it even though you fall down to the ground i think there's gonna be some damage that might happen not too bad i'm pretty sure you're just gonna dust it off and say whatever you know take your hair and just flip it and it's like whatever but still though i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be all quiet on the western front you're going to get something out of this and then, of course, let's address the thing in the room. This is a, most likely a movie for girls, definitely. There are girls that are Zack Snyder fans, which means the guys most likely won't be in here unless they get told, or some of them actually will bear to just look through it just to see that part. But the, the girls, the women of the Zack Snyder, and I don't even know if they're toxic or not, but pretty sure toxicity doesn't have a gender. You can be male and toxic, you can be female and toxic. So the messed up part is, what about the female side of the freaking fan base? What about them who actually will watch the damn movie? Will they be pissed off? Will they let it roll? Will they let it go? We don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to play out for you when it comes to the women's side. The men's side, person, I would say that they might get mad eventually because, well, again, like I said, there's going to be YouTubers who actually will dive into the freaking movie and then boom, there it is for everyone to see and, you know, they'll start riling up. But the women are there first, so who knows? They might just be all quiet until the men shows up. The women could be pissed off, and then the men join in, and then there we go. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but we'll, we will have to maybe see, but I don't know. 
personally is like, I don't know. Well, I'd be mad about it. It's like, a story is a story, which is good. I feel sad that the universe over there is gone. Even though I'm like, he said there's else worlds. Then why don't you put the damn movies for the ones that you don't care about on Max? Put it on the damn app. I think we'll be okay with it. Yeah, you can even just turn down how much you spend on it because we know you want to do that. And just make it like a little bit condensed to the point where it's like it's it's better than a straight to video or a straight to streaming movie. And it actually still continues on with it and you have people who are confident to a point where they use everything in the budget. And there we go. So Man of Steel 2, Man of Steel 2 can still exist. At least. <sighs> As for everything else, it's like, I don't know, it's like, it, you you don't want to bring the people back who actually had the ideas, so that means that even so, with the else world, it only will just be them coming back and be like, I have a story for you, and hopefully it won't be anything where you're like, yeah, and there's the door. But personally, like, it won't affect me that much. I would just notice the gut punch or notice the slap to the face or the punch to the face that was a girly hit. No offense about girliness, but I'm just saying. I'll most likely eventually see that and I'll be like, ooh, that hurts. Or, ooh, that was a messed up slap. Like, seriously. But again, like I said, these guys are losing what they, they wanted the most. They wanted to continue going and it's just slipping away and now they're counting to the last movie that's left which is of course Aquaman. As soon as Aquaman happens, it's no more. But here you are basically twisting their wound while it's still happening because they still have to cry and say goodbye to it. It's like your people are getting them prepared to, yeah definitely getting them prepared to, like yeah, we got the Flash right here. And then we got Aquaman. There we go. You even had Bat, well, Bat Girl, but that got thrown and tossed into the freaking 9-11 funds. But still, though, they, they have to say goodbye, and you're not making it any better. It's like, I don't know how hardcore was that freaking joke. I don't know if the joke was just a little funny one. Just a small one at their expense. I don't know which one it was, but I can tell you one thing is that no matter how, whatever you choose, it still hurts, you know? It's like someone actually lost their car in a funny way, or they just lost their car and here you are making a joke, a small joke about your car. It's like, oh, it's too bad that your car wasn't waterproof, ha uh ha. -huh. And it's like, that's not the time, dude. He still has to at least salvage the pieces and sell the pieces away or he has to do something with his car and it's like here you are making a messed up joke even though you know heck you could even say that you're making a joke of someone's dead relative or a relative that's dying in a hospital it's like ha ha it's too bad he can't run huh he can't freaking run where the darn from the Grim Reaper, huh? Ha ha ha, he should have took track when he needed to. He wasn't tracking, he didn't do it. And now here he is trying to run for the Grim Reaper and it looks like he sucks at it. Ha ha ha. And it's like, you see, that's a messed up joke, right? So in the end of it all, it's like, you, can't, you shouldn't have made that joke. And that joke can happen when it's the end, you know? Even then, it's like, that's not really that. I guess technically you shouldn't just make the joke at all. I'm sorry, but it's just how it is because, dude, they're losing something. They're really actually losing something. And you're making a small joke about it. And they really cared about it so much, you know? But, sure, make a joke. Let's see how this aftermath works. <laughs>